Just hit the button. Are you rolling? Are you rolling? Yes, We're rolling, baby! It's Mother Monday! Woohoo! Right out of the gate, don't forget book number two, The Berman Method, is live, baby! BermanPT.com forward slash book. Get your copy today. They are flying off the shelves. They're just going like crazy. Remember, support Stella, baby. This is Stella's college fund. Go there now. Okay, back to the OG, the original book. The motto for this week is 10 things that your MRI will not show you. We've been getting a lot of calls, especially from the snowbirds heading down south saying, my MRI says this, should I get an MRI for that? Yes, no, I don't know. It's a, you know, it's a gray answer, but I'm going to flip to a page in here somewhere, I think. Oh, come on. There we go. Where I list 10 things that your MRI will not show you. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I'm going to talk about certain things that if you're having pain, you're having neck pain, you're having shoulder pain, it feels like you might have a rotator cuff tear, I need to go get an MRI. Your MRI will not show you these things that are causing the neck pain, the shoulder pain, the rotator cuff symptoms that you're feeling. Poor posture will not show up on your MRI. Nerve entrapment will not show up on your MRI. Core instability will not show up on your MRI. If your core is not stable, you can't have the stability upstairs either. Let's see. Pelvic obliquity. So if your pelvis is out of place, you got back pain, you got hip pain, and your pelvis is out of place, that ain't showing up on an MRI. That could be causing your pain. What else? SI joint dysfunction, hip instability, muscle imbalances, joint capsule restrictions. The list goes on. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of them. The point of it is that if you're having pain, it does not necessarily mean that you need an MRI. I had a surgeon once tell me that MRI stands for might require incision because if you don't want to have surgery, you shouldn't get an MRI because before an MRI, this is all from the surgeon, I'm just repeating it, before an MRI, you just have pain. After an MRI, you then have a diagnosis. So my pain is caused because of this. Pre-MRI, your pain is you know, you just got pain. We can get in there and it's not such a mind game, but once you, your mind gets fixated on that diagnosis, it's so much harder to get things fixed. So think about it. Let me know what your response is. I know there's going to be some haters out there saying, I need an MRI. My MRI showed this. Yeah, that's the minority. The vast majority of us, we don't need them, okay? So off my soapbox, have a great rest of your mother!